What is up, everybody? Welcome back to some Simply Awesome. Now, first things first, we are only on a four pick today. We're not on a five pick uh, because there's not really a lot of good stuff that's been going on, but I'll probably figure something out at the end. However, we are going to jump in really quick with a video. It's it's because science again, and uh, it's, it's about how fast do Tails' tails actually spin to allow him to fly. Now, I never knew I would needed to know this information, but apparently I do because it's if you think about it, it's it's a little fox squirrel thing picking up a hedgehog going up 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 up, up and then like gliding a little bit and then coming down. So, it's kind of information you you've you probably thought about as a kid like how the hell is this happening? Uh and because science has actually kind of answered it, and I'm not going to spoil anything by going into it, but, yeah, it's actually quite interesting how fast Tails can rotate his tails. So, the first pick of the day goes to how fast can Tails' tails spin to make him fly. I think, <laughs> I don't know. I've got it down. I've got down how fast do Tails' tails spin, <laughs> and I have trouble reading that. Next up, we get a trailer that is for Thor Ragnarok, but it's got some tasty little tidbits in it that I'm not even going to spoil, apart from one of them, because that's the name of the trailer. But we're looking at the Thor Ragnarok trailer, Surtur trailer, uh, however you pronounce the demon's name. But this is something that is going to be interesting in Thor Ragnarok, because we finally get to see some more like the Asgardian lore in all of this, and that's some fun stuff. We don't want to see... Well, we do want to see, but we don't really want to see... Hey, Iron Man, do you want to help me out, beat up? We want to see, like, witches and demons and shit, and we finally get to in this trailer. Um, Surtu, I was never really familiar with. The Goddess of Death, I'm semi-familiar with, the the main protagonist in this uh, in this movie, but it looks like it's going to be really good. It's only... The updated trailer is only about 45 to 50 seconds long, and then it jumps into, like, the Chinese version of it and all that kind of stuff, which is fun to watch. Always watch everything in its original language, uh, even if it's not in its original language, always watch it anyway. Uh, but it looked really interesting because it looks like Thor is taking on Surtu. And if you are not a comic book person, but you like the Marvel movies, I really suggest you go and check out just how powerful the Hulk can be. Because that's pretty damn strong, and he's going up against a fucking flame demon god thing. So, yeah. Looks like it's going to be fucking awesome. Now, I guess you could say that this falls within the realm of today's Simply Awesome, but there's one guy I'm going to talk about in particular for a little bit called Phoenix Jones, and he is a real-life superhero. And I had, like, a little bit of... I had a tiny inkling that there are superheroes in the world. Not, you know, da -da -da -da, I can leap small buildings in a tall bound or whatever the fuck it is. Um, Phoenix Jones, about four years ago, I had a video I made of him, of him coming to England and, you know, fighting crime and shit. Uh, and England, London's got its own superhero as well, which is kind of weird. But there's this entire, like, subculture of superheroes that go around fighting crime and helping people and doing charity runs and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, that's fucking amazing. Like, um, I found two days ago, Sydney has a superhero called the Black Rat, who has a stab-proof, punch-proof vest. And, uh, well, everything in the U.S. is made out of this, like, material that is stab-proof. And, you know, it's got uh, he's got uh, knuckle dusters or something made out of a non-Newtonian... Uh, plastic or whatever that basically when he punches things he doesn't hurt himself which is awesome it's kind of like it's i kind of want to see them getting outfitted by their own version of like the superhero guy who builds things that would be really interesting but it turns out they all build their own armor i mean dc's got people it's kind of sad that england's only got one as far as i know of whose name i can't remember but he wears like a union jack and has like mutton chops and stuff it's pretty awesome and he, he works around London and, and all that kind of stuff. But Phoenix Jones kind of looks like, which is going to be a bad representation of Phoenix Jones, but he kind of looks like, um, if you ever saw the movie Steel with Shaq in it, he kind of looks like that. 
in the, the armor wise not a good movie but phoenix jones helps people and so do all the other superheroes so as a massive awesome shout out i guess you could say um all the superheroes around the world congratulations for doing a good job and stay awesome now finally we're jumping into something that is a comedy routine about something i hate <laughs> and I, I it's not like i hate i it's like uh, i hate doing this it's that kind of hate and it's a stand-up comedy commentary comedy uh, routine about spreadsheets you might have seen it you might have not it's over on a channel called stand up maths so obviously this guy who does the comedy is a nerd let's just do that off the bat um but the funny thing is he teaches you a valuable lesson about spreadsheets but it's spreadsheets it's it's like a 13 minute long video about the comedy behind spreadsheets and there is an actual joke in it mm. see it turns out being a geek can be funny i guess but the funny thing is the way he does it is just brilliant he's a good comedian I managed to, you know, watch a couple of his other videos. But the spreadsheet one is my favourite because of just the way he, like, over the entire thing, portrays the spreadsheet. And I hate spreadsheets. I hated doing them in high school. I hated doing them in college. I'm so glad I never had to do them in uni. But Stand Up Maths has a very good series of videos that you can all go check out. If you're a geek and you want to do some geeky, geeky comedy... Stand-up comedy about spreadsheets is a funny one to go watch. So go on over, check it out. As always, everything is in the, down, in the description down below. So thanks for coming today, guys. Sadly, short episode today, but it is always fun. Um, yeah, maybe next Friday there might not be an episode. I might have to replace it with something. I'm currently working on some stuff in my life. <laughs> in my life. That needs to be sorted out. Um, but until then... Thanks for coming today, guys, and as always, stay awesome.